One of the most exciting things about cooking the Mediterranean way is that you can turn something as humble as one can of beans into a satisfying dinner. Let me show you how I make Greek baked beans. Come with me. Nice cast iron or some oven safe situation because this is gonna go from here to here. We're gonna use some good Greek extra virgin olive oil. One of my favorite, very simple Greek dishes. Super humble. I'm taking a big shortcut by using from a can, some butter beans, okay? Gigantes are really large Greek beans, which you may not be able to find easily, so just use the biggest beans you find. Shimmering oil is ready. We're gonna go ahead with one nice big onion chopped. Then we've got some garlic. We're not shy with our garlic. And then celery and carrots. So far, so good, right? We're gonna saute this party and allow it to sweat nicely in the extra virgin olive oil. To help this party saute and cook down a little bit and kind of sweat, a nice pinch of kosher salt. Toss, toss, toss. We are using a good bit of extra virgin olive oil because everything is going to cook in this together. There's a genre of Greek dishes called plucky which means basically a baked dish. In this case, a tomato sauce uh, with all these beautiful veggies and a good bit of some extra virgin olive oil. I told you I love cooking the Greek way, and this is one of the reasons. So these veggies are starting to sweat nicely now. The dish will finish in the oven, so we're not worried about like fully cooking everything, but we do want some aroma. I suppose. Diced tomatoes from a can with their juices and I'm gonna add a little bit of water as well. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. We're building our beautiful sauce and we're gonna add some flavor makers. I'm a big fan of salting as you go. So another pinch of salt and we're gonna chop up some parsley. I trim just a little bit of the stem and as we mentioned, there's a lot of flavor in the stem so don't get rid of it all. Chop, 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 like a pro. These ain't your grandma's big beans, I'm gonna say. These are Greek, and they are so good. This is looking beautiful. Let's add some flavor makers. Little bit of parsley, fresh thyme, a dash of cinnamon, dried oregano, a dash of red pepper flakes. You can ditch that if you can't handle the spice. And then I have a dry bay leaf. We're infusing our sauce with so much flavor. It's simmering, good things are happening. We're almost there, you guys. Okay, oven on 375 at this point in time. And my sauce is ready and looking gorgeous. You don't even need to be a chefy chef here. We're going in with our drained beans. We're using very large butter beans here from a can, so you don't need to soak or do anything overnight to them. They're just gonna happily simmer in this sauce for a few minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish it up in the oven. There's two beans, I don't know, they feel lonely. Let's <laughs> add them in here. Going in the oven for about, oh, 20-ish minutes or so. Ooh, bean party. See you later, bean baby. <laughs> it's showtime, guys. Let's see. Put in some bread here, which looks nice and warm. Oh, yes. Bubbling. All right, bean party. Look at this. Ta-da. Beans are just as exciting as pot roasts, aren't they? Is there any comparison between beans and pot roast? I'm getting all the Greek vibes, all the delicious flavors, and of course a little bit of feta makes it better. Of course you can leave it vegan and not add feta, but why would you do that to yourself, really? Ready for it? Mmm. It's good. <laughs> it's velvety, tender, loads of flavor. It's such a satisfying little meal, 
budget friendly and so delicious. Why would you not? Why would you not make these baked beans? I need one more bite. I have a feeling you're a bean person. You're gonna wanna check out my garlic parmesan white bean video next. Cause you gotta try all the beans. <laughs> Grab the recipe for Greek baked beans over on themediterraneandish.com. I will see you later. Ciao. Ciao. Opa! If it's Greek, you gotta say opa.